Anxiety is no joke, and when you're in the midst of it, it can be really hard to ground yourself. Hey guys, it's Maggie and I am back today and I'm really excited to share something, a new discovery I've had in the health technology realm. Something I wish I had <laughs> a few years ago when I was really struggling with anxiety. Now, I've shared about my anxiety experience before on this channel, um, not so much recently because gratefully it has been a lot better. But a few years ago, there were circumstances outside of my control that were really just taking a heavy toll on me. Um, so it made me feel like I was on the edge of a roller coaster, like right at the top of the hill, about to go over. Um, I just, I kind of had that feeling right here in my chest 24 seven. And it was having a daily impact on me being able to do anything. Um, it was all I could think about. I just, my mind was racing 100% of the time and um, it was a battle. I of course went to my doctor with it as any person should and I was put on medication, um, but I quickly started to notice an increase with my ostomy output and learned that it can impact your bowels. And so if you followed along with my ostomy problems, um, I didn't wanna add any more potential issues to it. I was already struggling with my output. And so over time, I went off of the medication. Again, gratefully, I am doing a lot better but there are still moments when life feels out of control the last few months <laughs> um, that I get that feeling. It feels like, am I about to have a heart attack? I mean, it's, it's a miserable feeling. If you haven't felt it, hopefully you never do. I wanted to improve my, my physical response as well as my mental response to negative things around me. You know, something negative would happen and my brain would understand okay, there's nothing you can do in this moment to fix this issue, it's going to be okay, but it was like, my body was not getting the message. <laughs> it was not responding that way. It was responding like, it's the end of the world. And so, you know, I've tried different things to help calm that feeling. It can be really hard to do that on your own though. So some of the things that I've used, and one of them I've actually used for well over a decade, um, I've tried ASMR videos and I've tried meditation apps and things along those lines. Basically like audio soundscapes or, or just sound to help take my mind away from what I was thinking. You know, mind racing. I wanted to stop that kind of distract my mind is what I what I was doing. But of course, all the videos, all the ASMR videos out there don't work for everybody and sometimes there's something loud in it that just whoo, <laughs> get your heart revving again. And um, so that was my difficulty. It's not a 100% proof plan. If you're like me looking for something to combat that feeling that is just a little bit more personalized to you, um, I have something that you might want to check out. You might want to look into further. I'm going to share my experience with it, of course, and tell you all about it. Um, but it might be something you want to look into further and potentially budget for if you feel like it's a good fit for you. And I am really shocked at how well of a fit it is for me. I am talking about the Muse S headband they are kindly sponsoring today's video and I feel very fortunate for the opportunity to try it out because I'm kind of shocked at how, <laughs> how my body responded to it, but also my mind, but really my body, I was shocked. It takes something that I was already interested in and using quite a bit, but makes it uh, more personalized to the person and uses technology that we really don't often have access to at home. The Muse S headband is a headband that utilizes this really advanced EEG technology, something you just don't see <laughs> being utilized at home, and it helps you track things like your focus, your sleep, and how you recharge, and this helps you refocus during the day, and then it also helps you recover at night. It's really neat, it has seven sensors that help monitor your brain waves. It also has a heart rate monitor um, on the headband. I know it's like, <laughs> I was like, wait, what is that? <laughs> I 
see a little camera. That's the heart rate monitor. Um, and then it also has an accelerometer as well as a gyroscope. And this monitors your breath and your movement. And I got to tell you about my experience about that in a second because it was, it was kind of crazy. It connects with an app on your phone that uses all of those measurements that the headband is taking and customizes an experience for you, an audio experience, which is something that I already have been using. It winds up being personalized to you based on what's being tracked. Essentially, it gives you feedback through the audio that you are hearing, and I'm gonna share my exact experience to hopefully um, make this better understood, but it helps you gain more control over your mind. And then once you go through a session, basically you're listening to a session that's customized to you through the audio, it gives you a report afterwards, and I'm excited to share that with you too. But over time, as it's collecting this data and you know, you're going through the sessions, practicing this more, um, it can help you with focus and reduce your stress and also create more self-awareness. And this has been found in studies done using this. So when I first got it, you know, I'm taking it out of the package, I'm setting it up, which was very simple. And also the headband is extremely comfortable because it's designed for you to wear at night and not notice it. And that's exactly my experience. Um, but the first session that I got into was basically kind of an intro. Um, it was a rainforest landscape, soundscape. It wanted you to focus on your breathing to help calm your mind. And when you were actually calm with your mind because it's tracking those brain waves, you would hear this little bird chirp. That's when your mind had been calm for a few seconds. You earn these little, what they call birds. <laughs> and then when your mind starts revving up again, which I totally noticed as soon as I, you know, opened my eyes, and looked at a table and saw a stain on it and thought, oh my gosh, I need to wipe that up. The audio would actually change and it was like a rainstorm would come in and it would get louder the more my mind was racing. <laughs> so, and you can see it all in the report afterwards. It was crazy to hear and that made me realize just how much I cannot calm myself down. And it's so funny because it's talking about breathing exercises and how many times, how many times have I told people and told myself, you just need to breathe, you just need to breathe it out. Doing that on your own is extremely hard, especially with so much stimuli around us, like it's so easy to lose track of what you're doing. So that experience just got me really curious and I started exploring some of the other sessions available and I got into another one that was focusing on your breathing, which the first one had kind of just said, focus on your breathing. This next one taught me how to do that, how to use my hand basically to count and breathe with it, which in my mind, I was like, is this really gonna do anything? <laughs> um, but I did it, I was like, we're in, we're, we're trying this out, we're gonna do this. And by the end of it, it was like somebody had put a weighted blanket on me. It was the most bizarre feeling that um, <laughs> I don't feel often. It was so nice though. And the crazy thing was that it was helping me to do this, to have this calm feeling awake. This wasn't to put me to sleep, this was to be awake. I was doing a, a meditation session. Um, and there are two different sections within the app. You'll see a meditation and then a sleep one, which is a totally different one that's to help you obviously sleep and get good quality sleep. And it was really neat because you get your report afterwards that you can review and it totally matched up with what I was feeling. So I thought that was kind of cool. You can look at your different brain waves and they all mean something different, which they provide the information on their website about that. You can look at your mind and how calm it was. You can also look at your movement and how still you were. Um, I'm finding at night that I am not very still, so we'll talk about that in a second. But with the mind, I thought it was really interesting because it really did track with how I was feeling. And if you look at the end, if you see like how my activeness kind of went up there, that's when they said, you can open your eyes if you'd like to. So I did, and immediately I was looking at our TV stand over there and I noticed a stain and I thought, oh my gosh, before I forget, I need to go get a paper towel and clean that up. And that's when my brain became more active, of course, and I wasn't focusing on my breathing anymore. Um, so I thought that was really cool and really taught me, hey, uh, maybe opening your eyes during these sessions isn't the best for you, at least not right now until you learn how to 
really focus on your breathing even when other stuff is going on around you so I thought that was kind of cool um, and then you can see my heart rate I just I find it so intriguing and then of course I wanted to start using it at night because that's really um, when I utilize audio stuff the most I mean it is pretty much a nightly routine at this point um, so I was excited to try this with a little bit more personalized feedback and, and kind of training my brain a little bit better so I did that and the one that I've really been liking is called sound bath um, I've liked those videos on YouTube and stuff so I thought this is probably right up my alley and there are some really neat features about this nighttime portion of it um, you can loop the video so it plays throughout the night that's what I did and I just I had it playing throughout the entire entire um, sleep session if you will and the other really neat thing about it is it will fade out as you start to drift off to sleep which I noticed and it was really interesting because when I first started it it did say that when the audio fades out it might start to wake you back up because you're going like hey this, what's going on here the audio is going away that's exactly what happened in the beginning <laughs> but over time as you keep using it it kind of trains your body to not respond as much to that and fade out with the audio which is really neat um the other thing about it is <laughs> in the sound bath one there are these wind chimes that will go off when you move and like i said earlier um apparently i'm really active at night because i kept hearing the wind chimes and it it started immediately to kind of train my body that it needs to you need to actually rest you need to not move if we want to get a good night's sleep um, so I was hearing the wind chimes less. I thought that was so cool. And it responded immediately as soon as I started to shift myself. Even when my leg got kicked from my dog, <laughs> I heard the wind chimes just a little bit. But I was like, okay, we need to get a little more comfortable. Bruno, you can move over. Give me some space. Quick kicking me. So it's just been a really neat experience. I don't think it should really be a surprise to me on how well um, I became aware of my physical and my mental response. Just looking at these percentages on screen here for things like having a better handle on stress, being more calmed and relaxed, better focus and clarity, better emotional regularity, um, and their technology showing a 20% improvement in sleep quality. It shouldn't have shocked me that I was having a good response pretty much from the get-go. It's helping me to recognize what the actual feeling of calm is. I mean, if you haven't felt it too often, that can be hard to identify. Um, but also what keeps me in that calm state and what removes me from it. You know, it's using real data and biofeedback to help me recognize this. I feel like, um, you know, I'm, I'm training myself. I'm training my brain. And I really enjoyed, especially after um, meditations that I do during the day, I really enjoyed how I felt afterwards. So I just felt, <sighs> I, that, that's how I explain it. I don't know the words for it, but just that deep breath, that sigh of relief. And it's trusted by a number of institutions, including NASA, Harvard, the Mayo Clinic. I think it really gives you that um, in hospital experience like I feel like the only time you have access to EEG is if you have an appointment at the hospital to look at your brain and I think it's really cool that it's being brought into the home now um, and they have the largest collection of data on this with over six million hours of meditation completed um, and it's backed by 200 different studies. If this is something that sounds interesting to you, I highly recommend checking out their website, learning more, and of course I'll give you the information for that. Um, but it might be something that you want to budget for and invest in because I just, wow, it gives you access to something we just, it's something that's not really accessible to us too often without a big hospital bill. <laughs> it's, you know, you're in your home, either just trying to relax during the day, maybe take a nap, go to sleep at night, and you're utilizing this insane technology. It's just super cool. I'm looking forward to um, using it throughout the day and night. I really like the meditation sessions um, and doing that really in the beginning of the day. I think it just sets me up well, but I'm looking forward to seeing how it makes an impact long term um, and just, you know, potentially helps me when I'm in those anxious moments just to bring me back to earth, you know? 
Um, I'm excited to see where that takes me, but they have kindly offered a 15% off discount to anybody interested in purchasing with the coupon code Let's Talk IBD. So I did want to make you aware of that. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to use this and try this. Um, thank you so much to Muse. I think it's such a neat way to um, make this type of health technology accessible to people like myself and to others. Uh, we don't see it often. <laughs> I don't know how often you want to go into the hospital to get your EEG done, um, but this is a cool way to really look at your own data and learn a lot about your own brain. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you spending the time with me and I'll see you in the next. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you are looking for a way to help support my channel, consider liking this video or even subscribing. You can also check out my store at letstalkivd.shop. I have stickers and hoodies like these guys over here just related to chronic illness and inflammatory bowel disease, something fun. And I also have a coupon code for my YouTube watchers. You could also become a member of my channel like the wonderful people scrolling on screen here. They've become a member and they have access to videos a little bit earlier. It's a great way to support my channel and really just watching my videos means the world. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next.